Today, our video is about 2D scanners or flatbed scanners. <clears throat> scanners have become an important part of the home office over the last few years. Um, scanner technology is everywhere and used in many ways. So 2D flatbed scanners are also called 2D scanners are the most versatile and commonly uh, used scanners. In fact, uh, this video will focus on the technology as it relates to flatbed scanners. Parts of the scanner uh, that we have are uh, charge coupled devices, <clears throat> mirrors, scan heads, glass plate, lamp, lens, cover, stepper motor, belt, power supply, ports, and the control circuitry. We would have something called uh, CCD, which is the core component of a scanner, uh, also called CCD array, charged coupled devices. CCD is the most common technology for image uh, capture in scanners. CCD is a collection of tiny light sensitive diodes or photocytes, which convert light or photons into electrons, means electrical charge. Uh, shortly, each photocyte is sensitive to light, means the brighter the light that hits the single photocyte, the greater the electrical charge that will accumulate at that site in CCD array. So let's first see what do we have. This is uh, the cover of 2D scanner. This is the flatbed surface over which we place the paper upside down. Then we have uh, um, white back cover which is in the cover actually placed and then we have a glass plate um, in the scanning process the document is placed on the glass plate and the cover is closed the inside of the cover is most uh, in most is, uh, scanner is flat white over here the cover provides a uniform background uh, that the scanner software can use as reference point for determining the size of the document being scanned over here. The lamp is then used. So we have uh, this glass plate over which we place this document and then we have got a lamp. A lamp is used uh, which uh, illuminates the document. The lamp is fluorescent or xenon lamp. The entire mechanism means mirrors, uh, lenses, filters, and CCD array make up the scan head. We will discuss about it. I'm going to uh, present the whole scan head. The scan head is moved slowly across the document by a belt that is attached to a stepper motor. The scan head completes the pass. That is the scan head has completed a single complete scan of the document. The image of document is reflected by an angled mirror. So we have got this uh, glass plate over which we have put this paper. Then we have a lamp. That lamp moves across throughout the document that the document is placed that is movable. And then uh, we have got this uh, uh, reflecting glass at an angle then this glass moves along this uh, lamp and then there is another fixed mirror now what happens that the light is actually produced by the lamp that is reflected from the paper goes to this movable mirror and then reflected to this fixed mirror and then we have uh, this thing goes to CCD. CCD is also using filter. So the filter and lens arrangement uh, vary based on the scanner. Some scanners use three pass scanning method. Each uh, pass uses a different color filter, uh, which is either red, green or blue between the lens and CCD array. So what actually happens that the light that is reflected goes to the CCD charge coupled devices as I said that these are the devices which uh, convert the light 
into a voltage and they store it. But sometimes this is true for black and white image. If the image is a colored image, then we have to have a lens. And uh, this lens is making use of filters. which uh, filters out the light into three, red, green, and blue. And these uh, CCD charge coupled devices are then uh, storing each uh, a different color. But sometimes uh, this filter is not there. So what happens that uh, the whole pass goes on three times. First for the right, uh, red uh, light, and then, then green, and then blue light. So whatever the case, we need these uh, CCD filters. So scan uh, head is moved. So this whole thing is a scan head. This lens, this mirror, this mirror filters, these all are making what? A scan head. The scan head is moved slowly across the document by a belt that is attached to a stepper motor. The scan, scan head completes the pass. That is the scan head has completed single complete scan of the document. The image of the document is reflected by an angled mirror. Um, from this mirror to this mirror and to uh, the lens then. The filter and lens arrangement uh, vary based on the scanner. Some scanner uses three pass scanning method. Each pass uses a different color filter. Red, green and blue. Between the lens and the CCD scanner. After the three passes are complete, the scanner software assembles three filters, uh, three filtered images into a single full color image. So this was the mechanism for this uh, 2D scanner working. Now a word about uh, resolution. A uh, scanner is actually vary in resolution and sharpness. So what we are going to discuss is resolution first. So resolution uh, most flatbed scanners have a true hardware resolution of 300 by 300. If it is not screens it is then always DPI dots per inch. Uh, the scanner's DPI is determined by the number of center, uh, sensors in a single row. It means how many sensors are there in CCD array. So CCD arrays are made up of sensors. So if a CCD, let's say, if it is a CCD array, that is converting light into electrical charge has got these sensors in it. And there are multiple rows of these sensors are there. So if the resolution is 300 by 300 DPI and a scanner is capable of scanning a letter size document, then the CCD has, uh, let's say 25, 50 sensors arranged in each horizontal row in each horizontal row. So that is uh, roughly about um, 8.5 sens uh, sensors per dot scanned over the document. A single pass scanner would have three of these rows for a total of 25, 50 sensors multiplied by three. 25, 50 sensors multiplied by three that becomes seven, six, five, zero sensors in this one CCD array, which is about uh, one over 300th of an inch over the paper. Likewise, a scanner with the resolution of uh, 600 by 300 has a CCD array with 5,100 sensors in each horizontal row. So that is very simple. Resolution, which is a great factor for having a document which is almost in high definition, has to be higher. 
For higher resolution, we need more sensors in the array. 300 by 300 DPI is the most effective one, which is mostly used for having 300 uh, DPI. We have to have about uh, 2,500 uh, 50 sensors in a row, uh, which is roughly 8.5 uh, sensors. which is uh, roughly about uh, uh, 25, uh, 8.5 uh, sensors per dot, which is a scan. So that is how the resolution works. Sometimes let's say, for example, if the resolution is 300 uh, into 300 DPI, the scanner is capable of scanning a letter size document. Then the CCD has how many? 2,550 sensors arranged in each horizontal row which is uh, roughly 2,550 sensors uh, per dot. And uh, scan head scans almost three lines in one go. So CCD would have uh, around 7,650 sensors. Now, sharpness. Sharpness depends mainly on the quality of optics used to make the lens um, and uh, the brightness of the light source here. A bright lamp and high quality lens will create much clearer and sharper image. And then we have another term called uh, interpolation. <coughs> interpolation means enhancing a document uh, on software front, means it was not scanned as heavy. Uh, as it was reflected back over the screen. So what happens in interpolation? It is a process uh, that the scanning software uses to increase the perceived uh, resolution of an image. It does this by creating extra pixels in between uh, the ones actually scanned by the CCD array. These extra pixels uh, are an average of uh, the adjacent pixel. For example, if the hardware resolution is uh, 300 by 300 and the interpolation resolution is 600 by 300, it means the software is adding a pixel between every one scanned pixel by a CCD in each row. So it is being added by itself. And the last thing is uh, bit depth, as you would have already studied it in images or you would study, which is also called color depth. So another term used uh, when talking about scanners is bit depth, also called color depth. This simply refers to the number of colors that the scanner is capable of reproducing. Each pixel requires uh, 24 bits, let's say. So that means that 2 to power 24, which is about 16.78 uh, million colors. Uh, so higher the color depth, uh, better the scan image. And lastly, when everything is done, there's a collection of uh, electrical charge in CCD array that needs to be now digitized. Digitization means to convert it from the voltage form into the digital form into the binary form so that it could be used. So what happens that uh, the voltage that is being accumulated in CCD while the scanning was happening is now transferred to computer through ADC. ADC is a device which with the help of its software converts analog, which is uh, electrical voltage to its digital form. So what actually happens that CCD transfers its uh, electrical charge to this ADC through computer ports and all, and then this ADC converts the data into its binary form, which is a digitized image that can be then saved, uh, that can be then shared and all or enhanced. Uh, that's it. That is how the whole uh, scanning happens. And uh, thank you very much.